In this tutorial, we will be learning about the import and export features within Quilt Manager. If you remember from a previous video, these features are not selectable until you have created a new document. Once a new document is created, you will be able to use these features. The import feature will allow you to open existing patterns or even images. You can import QCC, DXF, QLI, and QLA pattern files and JPG, PNG, and BMP image files. To begin, select the import icon from the top menu. You will see a window appear asking you to import a pattern from database or to import pattern or image from file. Let's first select the import from file. It's highlighted by default. Select the ellipsis button on the right to search for files. This will bring up the file explorer. If you look in the lower right corner you will see that it is searching for all formats. You can search for a specific file type by selecting the drop down and selecting the desired file type. Select the file type that you want to edit from the list and then select open. Or you can simply double click to open the file. Select OK to bring the pattern into the workable area. Once the file is open, you will be able to make edits to the pattern. You can also import from Quilt Manager's internal database. The database will show all the files saved within the Quilt Manager software. You can add to this database by importing folders containing pattern files. Go to Import and select the ellipsis button in the lower right. Select the folder that contains your patterns. Click on this folder, then click Select Folder, then select Import Patterns. The patterns will import and you will be taken back to the Pattern tab. From the Pattern tab, you can select a pattern and open it. The Recent tab will show you patterns that you recently opened from the database. The Tag tab will allow you to edit tags to make them easier to locate. Tags are categories you can find your patterns in. It's like a table of contents for your patterns. You will need to select the Edit Square to effect changes in the menu. You can define a tag by typing a name into the box. You want a tag name to be descriptive of the patterns that you will tag with it. So, if I made a tag named Shapes, I could put all the patterns that are related to shapes in it. You need to uncheck Edit to add patterns to a tag. Select the patterns from the left and select the tags that you want to attribute to these patterns. The highlighted tags are all of the categories that you can locate that pattern in. You can also delete tags by selecting Edit selecting the tag that you want to delete, and then selecting Delete. Select Yes to confirm you want to delete the tag. It is important to note that when you delete a tag, only the tag will be removed. Your patterns will remain intact. When you are finished with a pattern and you are ready to use it with your robotics, select the Export feature. Exporting turns patterns into a usable file for robotic systems. By default, Quilt Manager will try to export as a QMA which, as we discussed earlier, is only usable within Quilt Manager. You will need to export as DXF or QCC file types to use with robotic systems. You can also take this moment to change the file name. Select Save and your pattern is now ready to be put onto your robotic system. You are now ready to import and export patterns to and from Quilt Manager.